Welcome to this uh, important playlist about solving quadratic equations. And I'm going to start with a very brief introduction and then video by video you will learn bits and pieces about how to solve these important questions. Yeah? Because you will get questions about solving quadratic equations. Okay? And we have three methods to solve quadratic equations. That is by factoring, by completing the square, and by using yeah, the formula, but I call it the ABC formula. Okay? And why I call it the ABC formula will make sense when I will discuss uh, the formula. Okay? But you have three strategies, factoring, completing the square, and the ABC formula. Now this introduction I just want to use to go back to the basics. Because so far you have learned how to solve linear equations. Linear equations where the highest power of x is a 1. Yeah? So for instance, the linear equation, let me just write it down, the linear equation of uh, 2x uh, plus 3 equals 13. Okay, now what is your strategy to solve a linear equation? What would you do? Well, to solve a linear equation, you would isolate x, am I right? Yeah, so you have several steps, in this case, this is a two-step equation, where first of all, I'm going to subtract 3 on the left side and on the right side of my equation, yeah, because if I do something on the left side, I have to do it on the right side for it to be equal. So 2x equals 10. And some students and teachers think you are moving numbers. And when you move it to the other side of the sign, then the sign changes. Yeah, but actually you're not moving anything. I'm taking away 3. I'm taking away 3 there. And then finally I say, well, 2x equals 10. Then I will divide both sides by 2 yeah, in order to find x. So that is the strategy to solve um, a linear equation where the highest power of x is a 1. Yeah, because it's 2x to the power of 1, if you like, plus 3 equals 13. All right? Now, for a quadratic equation, you always use a different strategy. Okay, so a quadratic equation. And without solving it now, I will tell you the strategy you use um, for factoring and completing the square and using a formula. If I have the quadratic equation, for instance, x squared uh, plus 7 equals uh, 2x. I'm just making it up right here. What is the strategy? The strategy is always, yeah, with all three methods, to equal it to 0. So I have to rearrange the equation that it equals 0. Yeah, so it has to equal zero. Well, on my left side, I already have x squared plus seven, and then that two x, for it to be removed on the right side, I have to take it away on the left side as well, minus two x, there we go. So I have equal it to zero. However, that's not good enough. You also have to put it in order. With that, I mean, it has to say, the term of the x squared first, then the term of the x, and then your number, your constant, equals zero. Yeah? So I just rearrange it, x squared minus 2x plus 7 equals zero. And once you have rearranged it like this, then you will be able to solve it either by factoring, or by completing the square, or by using the ABC formula. Yeah? Or you can use all three of them if you want, yeah? if you really are enjoying this. Okay? But quadratic equation always equal it to zero. Yeah? Unlike a linear equation, where you isolate x and the rest on the other side of the equal sign, a quadratic equation equal it to zero. Okay, next video I'm going to start about how to solve these quadratic equations by factoring. I'll see you there.